Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the channel. This week we'll be reviewing both the Expert Advisor and the Indicators Pack from Good Relaxation, also known as FX Sniper 24. Please note that over here it says RIP Stop Loss and I think it's very fitting that he says this and we will show you why later on in the video. Over here you can also see his indicator pack. It comes with these, I think, Bollinger Bands with red and blue arrows indicating buys and sells and this bottom indicator which will correlate with one of the arrows telling you when to buy and sell as well. So for this video we are going to start off with the indicators and if I just pull up the menu, the indicators are Forex Signal 30.3, VJ Sniper V3 and Forex Signal 30.1. Now I know I'm not the first person to make a video on these indicators, but those people that have made videos before me, I've watched a lot of them on YouTube and a lot of them don't show what the indicator looks like when the markets are moving. A lot of them are using static charts and using that to say oh this arrow came up here and it correlates to the bottom indicator meaning that this would have been a sell and your sell would have given you a take profit of a thousand or something. What I'd like to do is show you guys what it actually looks like when the chart is moving instead of this static chart which means that all of these signals have been corrected to look as though they are accurate. So right now you can see we have all the elements on the chart and we did run it for a little bit and as you can see right now all of the indicators have fallen apart. If I just make this a bit bigger you can see that right here there's a sell signal, here there are sell signals, here there are sell signals as well. It's not giving you an accurate enough signal where you can just enter the market on your own. The system is trying to repaint itself so that it doesn't look as though it's wrong. But you can clearly see right here that the signal at the bottom has fallen apart and these signals over here are giving you way too many signals for you to take one of them. So this is very really different from the view we got when we were only looking at the static chart. So I think this is why most of the people on YouTube only show you a static chart without showing you what happens when you leave the indicators to themselves to do their own thing. This is what happens when you leave it on. So for the set of indicators from FX Sniper 24. I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 10 since it doesn't do much or add anything to your trading plan. I don't think these signals would be used with another strategy to make them better as well. As you can see on both charts right here there's way too much going on and none of it would help you be profitable. So if we are going to move on to the next one, we'd move on to the robot. So right now you can see that we do have the autopilot expert advisor on our chart. It's accurately branded by the creator and if you bring up the properties and click on this link as well, you get redirected to his FX Sniper 24 Instagram page where he sells the robot. But coming back to the chart, this is normally where we see how the robot trades and right now the robot is set to 0 0.01 lots and at a take profit of 200 pips. So you can see that there is a lot size, a take profit, but one aspect of this robot is missing and that is the stop loss. So remember how I said that this post was very fitting for his robot? It's because his robot doesn't come with a stop loss at all. So 
if you were to turn this robot on and just forget about it you might come back to it with a blown account so I have tested it and for periods that are high in volatility such as the half past 4 half past 3 time for Nasdaq until about 9 10 o'clock the night South African time this robot will probably be in and out of its trades in a very short period of time however if you were to forget about the robot at some point in time during that time period you might find a trade that has gone a wall so let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about you can see during this period of high volatility that the trades are closing relatively close to each other since the volatility is so high you're only in the market for a short period of time that's taking this period into account but as you can see over here this trade doesn't close on its own it goes into a 12,000, 13,000 pip loss before coming back down so this process of loss of trades happening one trade that lasts long, loss of trades happening one trade that lasts for long continues until you hit a single trade that doesn't close itself so if I was to give you some advice if you choose to use this robot it's to keep it running between half past 4 and around 9 o'clock and then turn it off but for that time period you are going to have to monitor it so that if you do get a trade that say runs like this one where there's one massive spike in it and there's a large drawdown try and close out this trade before it reaches anywhere near 5000 pips because if you close this trade there might be more trades that could happen over here where the market goes up and down and that's what this robot likes the robot doesn't like long periods of one movement it likes when it the market bounces around because right now you the robot could have been on over here but since this one trade is holding it back it cannot trade in this area so that's just some advice from my side if you do choose to use this robot but other than that I wouldn't give this robot a high rating since it doesn't have a stop loss and a stop loss is something that I think all robots should have since we are all human meaning that at some point we will probably forget about this robot and during that time period it might blow your account so I will be giving it a 6 out of 10 since it does have profitability in it but it does require you to monitor it for quite a long period of time okay so coming back to the indicator set if you still would like to try it out for yourself and see how it actually loses all control when you put it on a live chart you are welcome to um, when you download it initially you won't get the setup like this the initial indicators come with other settings so to make it look as though it matches the one that FX Sniper 24 advertises you're gonna need to change some of the parameters so for the forex signal 30.3 you're gonna need to click the last two boxes of the colors section and set them as none and for the VJ Sniper V3 you're going to need to click the first two boxes as none since those are arrows and for the last one you're going to need to change anything that's yellow to blue and that way you get the setup that FX Sniper 24 advertises if you don't do that your chart will look a bit messy as I'll show you right now so if you were to just leave the indicators as they came this is the chart you would end up with the indicators still try and repaint themselves as the market moves so even though this isn't how it looks on FX Sniper's 24's page these are the actual 
indicators and how they look so as you can see it's still giving fake signals right here and we know now that when you initialize this on a chart that isn't static the indicators fall apart and you won't be able to trade using it so right now we are at the forex reviews sa youtube channel subscribe if you'd like to have more content like this there will be some breaks in between when i upload videos right now because i still need to purchase these robots and indicators from the owners and that process really takes a bit of time when you have quite a bit of requests but right now we are busy with fx sniper 24 that can be found in the john gatti video in the description all you need to do is click this link right here and that will take you to the expert advisor in this one and the indicators in this one you need to download these indicators together and this is the robot this goes in the expert advisors folder in your metatrader 4 platform thank you for watching this week's video goodbye